This is a 20 foot extendable chassis which works with pins to slide it. So right now the pins are in the lock position, they are out. And these pins pull the top chassis portion and the bogey. They, they lock at the frame of the chassis and yeah, bogey. The frame and the bogey. So the bottom portion and the top portion. There's four pins. There's two on each side. Let me go around and show you. And right now it's in the 20 full position. So a pin here and a pin here. In the back here. We have rollers, which aid in sliding, and we have stoppers. These are the rear stoppers, which don't allow the bogey to come past a certain position. We come in the front. We also have front stoppers, which are these metal plates, which do the same thing in the front. The pins are actuated. All four pins are actuated by this air chamber here. And now we're going to show the pins actuating. So when air is given, the pins are supposed to go inward and unlock the top portion and the bottom portion, as seen here. Now the pins are inward. Inside, as you can see on the, on the bottom portion, this is where the rear pins are held in the yeah. um, As you can see, the tolerance is very tight. There's no space in between from the frame and the place where the pin holds. This means that even if a little bit of the pin, even if a quarter of an inch of the pin gets held onto the top portion, it will still hold the chassis together. So the pin are in, and now we're going to slide it. did was they hit the stopper so at this position it cannot go anymore that's what the stoppers are made for so now the chassis is extended as you can see the rear pins the bar which holds the rear pins hit the stopper so that's the maximum position where we could go to if we come here we can see that the pins are not fully aligned with the holes so this is something the driver must always check even if the switch is placed for the pins to come outwards and they're not in the correct position, they will not come out. So the driver must move the tra tractor either forward or backwards to get the pins perfectly aligned and then check once more to see if they came out. One thing to mention is every time you slide the chassis, all three axles, so the trailer chassis must always have its brakes on. That's one thing to mention. So now what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, we're going to return the switch and get the pins to come outwards and just watch what happens. Okay, as you can see, the pins have are supposed to be outwards, but they are not fully out. The pins are not aligned with the holes in the chassis, so in the top portion of the chassis. So even if the pins are the switch is actuated for the pins to come outwards, they will not because the frame is in the way. So what the driver has to do in this situation is he has to move the the whole chassis so he has to move his truck either backwards or forward to get the pins aligned so we're gonna do this now and demonstrate this See now, the pins have came out because they're in the right position. Okay, and the driver must always check this on this side and the other side. Okay, now the driver will slide the top portion towards the back in 20 full position. This is the correct way which it must be slid. The driver must do. First, he will actuate the pins to make them go inwards, as you can see. Now he's gonna drive the truck in reverse. Move the 
budge the truck a little bit to get the pins to fit in. Now he's coming out. And he's gonna inspect the pins to see if they all went in. Came out. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna demonstrate a scenario where the pins are not locked. So the pins are inside, as we can see here. So the top portion, and bottom portion are not locked. And what we're gonna do in this case now is we're gonna he's gonna go forward slowly and he's gonna use the foot brake and watch what happens. As you can see, the bottom portion and top portion stayed together when he braked because the truck and the chassis were braking at the same time. Alright, so now what he's going to do is he's going to only use the trailer brakes and when he does this, watch what happens. As you can see, when you only use the trailer brakes, the bogey, the bottom portion of the chassis, locked up and the front came sliding. 